Hello, um, here's my uh, Galaxy Tab uh, to uh, it's uh, G the GTP5113 uh, version. I have modified my uh, tablet with a 4.3 operating system and then I added some 4.4 uh, Google Apps on top of that. As you can see, um, when I said Google, uh, the voice thing automatically came up. So if I say like Google Now or Hey Google, what time is it? The time is 5.09 p.m. It does that. Uh, I can ask it whatever questions. I can say, uh, Hey Google. Or, hey Google and then sometimes it won't respond other times it will I think it depends on which mode is in let me try it. set a reminder for 9 p.m. and it, then it will set a reminder for you so there's kind of some cool features you could say like play music and it'll play music and different things so just to show you a few differences, um, you know, like uh, with 4.4 .4 operating system, it has the when you swipe to the left, you have this uh, screen here, the Google Now screen. Then you then you go to the right, you get your regular you know application screens. Then you have your app button down here. You notice that you don't have the app thing up here anymore. You don't have the um, other tab here, uh, you know, for those uh, additional programs that you can install. You don't have that there anymore. So if you press and hold, the widgets uh, show up here now, the wallpapers and their settings. And it's a little bit better organized. It's not all crammed together. So you, you have it in these square boxes that are exactly the same size. So everything looks easier to look at. And um, when, when you want to delete an app, uh, now you have to keep in mind that I modified this in two different ways. So if you just install 4.3, it's not going to look exactly like this. It will look very similar, but you're not going to have that there. And you, and you, you will have the two buttons up here um, and when if you want to remove an app you, you do it from here you just press and hold then just drag it to the uninstall trash box there I don't want to throw it away I want to keep that app I just wanted to show you that and I'm not going to go into the modification process right now but you notice that on 4.22 you had that long bar across the top now, now you just have this nice clean easy to look at but you know pull down and you have a pull down here that gives you the uh, notification information and with this operating system you can have more than one user use your you know tablet so if I make up another user um, they will have their own programs and icons that, that would be different than yours and uh, so your when they log in, they see their stuff. When you log in, you see yours. So if you wanted to have someone else use your tablet, you can set it up that way if you want, if you wish. Uh, this the sound is louder. Uh, this because it has a uh, this manager here, DSP manager, where you can set up uh, the equalizer in this in the strength and make these adjustments by hand if you wish or you can select the presets like I did I can have like a rock and it will change the the graph so that, that helps in uh, increasing the bass and the sound because it's not very loud otherwise and it's faster um, when you click on things uh, you still don't have the, the screen capture button you still have to press the two buttons uh, that's going to be like that for a while unless uh, there's enough complaints for Google will decide to, to add that back in. My opinion, they should add at least an option to put it there 
and there is no option to do that. But being that this is so much better than uh, 4.1 uh, in the way it operates, and, and um, it's better for the way I use a tablet. It may, may not make a difference for other people. Um, I like to be able to display videos on my TV, and this has some built-in options for that that makes it easier. And um, I recommend that, you know, if for anybody that wants something that uh, runs smoothly, this is the modification. Now, this is not an update from Samsung. This update actually came from somebody that made it themselves. Samsung, would, you know, I can't wait for them to actually come up with something like this. So I, I went on the internet and I found this this group that, that's called Cyan Gen Mod Updates. Uh, these people uh, make uh, modifications uh, for different tablets and different phones, and and I found them on doing a Google search, and and I installed their up their. Uh, Files and and we're able to get this set up. It's not it's not um, a clean cut way of doing it. You know you have to know a little bit about what you're doing. It's not hard. You know it's like anything else. Once you know it, it's, it's not hard to do. But you have to what they call you have to root your device first. Then you um, you install the update. Then on top of that, I installed some applications from the next version of. Uh, Google that's called the 4.4 KitKat, and by doing that, it uh, it's kind of a cross between the two operating systems. So the whole oper you know, it's kind of like an overlay of programs, and that so happens to be compatible with uh, 4.3 that work. So I have kind of like the functionality of the KitKat 4.4 with the 4.3 engine. And uh, I'm, I'm loving it. You know, I have no no problems. It has worked really smooth. Um, when you turn your tablet off, it turns off. It doesn't reboot like uh, 4.22 was rebooting on mine. Some people didn't have that problem that I did. And uh, yeah, it's been a very uh, very nice solution. If you have any questions, just uh, feel free to post it. I, I know I didn't answer everything. I just want to make a quick video just to show you. Then um, I hope you like it. You have a nice day. Bye-bye.